Hello viewers. This video is the second part of the topic on how to manage and administer ARM and backups using Oracle Enterprise Manager. And in today's video, we are going to learn how to validate the restorability of the ARM and backups using preview option of the restore command. If you have not watched the first part of this video yet, please watch it to have a better understanding of the topic. In the first part, I have shown how to schedule a backup using OEM and in the third part, I will show how to create an enterprise-wide consolidated report on restore validation using BI Publisher reports that comes free with Oracle Enterprise Manager. So first, let's log into our OEM system and set up the validation job. We will use Syspan user to log into our OEM system. Before you set up the restore validation job, make sure that the preferred credential for the database targets have been set. To do that, we'll go to Setup, Security, Preferred Credentials. We'll select Database Instance, Manage Preferred Credentials. And we have only a few databases here, out of which we'll select only two for our purpose. For the first one, that is the CatDB, the preferred credentials have been already set. The second database, that is the RACCCDBC1, we are going to set the normal and the host credentials as preferred credentials before we set up the restore validation job. We click set. We create a new named credential with system user. Put the password for the system user. Give a meaningful name, then test and save it. We can leave the sysdba database credential blank as it is not mandatory for the restore validation job and we'll set up the database host credential here. We already have one global named credential created which works for all the database hosts and it is using the Oracle user and it has been set. The host credentials may be set up using Oracle software owner that is the Oracle user or any non-privileged user who has sudo access to the Oracle user. If you are using sudo, then privilege delegation for the host must be set up before using the named credential. If you want to know more about how to create and use OEM named credentials, please watch my video on that topic with the title, How to create and use named credentials in OEM 13c to automate database and OS jobs. I am also mentioning the link to that in the description of this video below. Next, that is step number two, we are going to create the ARM and restore validation job in OEM. To do that, go to Enterprise, Jobs, Library. We have the options to select the type of the job here and we will select the arm and script option here and click go we have to put a name there for the job restore preview job we'll keep the automatic attempts none it will run against database targets and we select the target databases here as first one the cat db and the second one as rack ccdbc1 Click select, go to parameters. In the parameter section, we have to put the actual arm and script or the arm and command, which will be restore database preview. In the credentials, we have selected the preferred credentials because we already set the preferred credential for the database targets. These settings will automatically take effect. The schedule will be 
for the first time we'll run it only for one time we have different options here one time later and repeating we are selecting the one time immediately option for our example in the access tab we will not make any changes here save to the library and our job has been saved that is the restore preview job now in the third step we are going to submit this job select the job then click submit while submitting the job you also have the option to add or remove any database targets from this list for example suppose if you want to run the restore validation job for one particular database then you can remove the others from there or if you want to add new databases to this list then you can simply click this add button and from this list you can select more databases from the available databases and also if you want to make any changes on the schedule you can make those changes while submitting the job if you want to schedule this job to run every night on a certain time then click on repeating by days repeat every one day say each target time zone so start date and time it is taking by default today's date start time will be say it runs every night at the 1 a.m grace period will be indefinite repeat until indefinite it means there is no end date for this job and you can click on submit button and the job has been submitted now we click on the instance of the job that was submitted and it will give the detail page where we can see the progress of the job we put the auto refresh frequency to 15 seconds so that we get a faster refresh of the page and we see the the job was not successfully completed for the first target that is the rec ccdb1 but for the second target it was successfully completed and we can see the entire output of the arman script we can see the details of the job where it is mentioning up to what scn the recovery will be done and there is also one important line here recovery must be done beyond scn to clear the database fuzziness so i will cover this topic in a different video how to handle the fuzziness of the data files but for now our job has been completed and if we want to see what makes the job to fail for the first target that is the rec ccdb1 we click on that target and go to the detail page and see what is the reason for the failure and it is very clear here that no backup or copy of the data files found to restore it means there was no backup available to run the restore validation job so the restore validation job is usually very fast and takes only a few seconds per database if the database size is in multi terabytes then it may take up to a few minutes once the job is completed you can check the validation status of the individual databases with the details by clicking on the database target on the left pan now this was just one example if you need to run this job every day make sure to schedule the job after the backup jobs are finished for example if your backup jobs run every night at 10 pm and finish at 1 am then you can schedule the restore validation job at 2 am to get the latest status so dbs i hope you enjoyed the second part of this video in the third part i will show how to create an enterprise-wide consolidated report on restore validation using bi publisher report that comes free with oracle enterprise manager if you liked my video and found it useful please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel 
so you won't miss similar videos that I am uploading every week for the Oracle DBS.